Okay, going across south. First big, big potholes right in the crosswalk. Over on this side, the curb cut, if you want to call it that, that, that curb cut has got to be at least six inches tall. It does graduate down towards the center, so it's one of those diagonal entrance crosswalks. But the lowest elevation of this crosswalk, coat curb cut I mean, is probably an inch and a half to two inches. I'm looking at it. I don't know how well you can see it. And then you have a very steep elevation change. It's got to be in the area of 40 degrees elevation change. Then just as you get up that elevation, you have a huge crack where the uh, diagonal curb meets the sidewalk. So now we're heading east again down Brinkerhof. We see the very large crack in the road and along the uh, crosswalk, painted crosswalk. More holes. And again, we have this very big change in elevation. There. If you're within the crosswalk boundaries, on the right, your curb cut is probably at the highest end, five inches, and at the lowest end, an inch or more, and it's in very poor condition. Head up, a very steep elevation once again. Nothing to help you grab onto that in the ice. And then we have another long crack with a uh, good trip hazard. It may not be an inch, but it's probably a half inch. It's right near this wrought iron fence property. Very beautiful old Victorian stone building. So it's on the corner of Brinkerhof and whatever that street was behind me. What was it? Helen Street. Okay. Brinkerhof and Helen is where those two terrible curb cuts were. So we're going to look at generally bad sidewalk conditions. Not ADA width. Now on the south side of Brinkerhof, heading east towards the lake. And here we have a lovely example of a really bad setup in the winter. Big hole in the middle, big cracks on the side, and elevation change on the side of this very narrow sidewalk. I'd say at least 25 degrees of elevation change. So if you're on the right side of that sidewalk as you're coming uptown, you're going to tip to the right. And if you're on the left side of the sidewalk going downtown, you're going to tip to the left. In the winter it is a super hazard. So now we have another big elevation change right by this beautiful property, 77 Brinker Up. And this elevation change is on the left, probably three quarters of an inch, and it graduates down to almost nothing. Continuing east. Down Brinkerhof, we only go <laughs> two more concrete frames and we run into problems. We have big elevation change here, which is somewhat camouflaged by the grass, but it is not camouflaged at all when you hit it. Come down one more and you had one at one time a big hole that's been patched, but not all of it. There's a big hole there. And as you back up, you're going down in elevation, probably 30 or more degrees elevation change. And you are dealing with a very slippery situation in the winter. Very narrow sidewalk, not even enough room to turn around safely, even on a dry day like today. Come down one more concrete frame. 
And we look back at yet another huge elevation change. Camouflage somewhat by grass. Hi. Right.